Hello and welcome back to another video. Here we are, we're looking at the Aux Codex from 3rd edition. So this is the very first Codex of Aux that I ever saw and I thought it was pretty cool. So I thought I'd share that with you guys today. Um, also, I mentioned it in a recent video um, with the custom characters from um, the chapter approved. Um, saying about one of the Orc special characters. Anyway, so let's get into it. Before we do though, if you'd like to see more videos like saving money and tactics, things like this, um, please hit the bell button and um, get the bell button with your power claw and destroy that bell button. And you'll see more videos like these. So let's carry on. So have a little look. So we haven't got the cover, which is like a green um, picture. Hopefully I might do a, um, a picture of it for the... Good gosh, the thumbnail of the video, hopefully. Um, I'm not gonna promise that, just because sometimes it doesn't work out. And as you can see, it was quite a small book. 44 pages or thereabouts. Um, and this is all we're gonna go. So we're gonna flick through it. <clears throat> as you can see, this is um, the, um, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak English today, as ever. Um, artwork from the day. Now, obviously the second edition, I do believe, was when there was the more cartoony, um, old school, um, rogue trader era orcs. So this is where the main first change came. As far as I'm aware, correct me in the bottom as you will, um, if you wish. <clears throat> so introduction, um, this is talking about the orcs and what they are. So this is, as far as I'm aware, the new fleshing out of the um, new orcs and as they are. This is about why collect an orc army, um, blah, 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 blah. Well, solid body of troops, blah, 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 blah. Excellent hand to hand, etc. Hold on, there we go. If you want a straight laced army that takes itself seriously, then try the try the elder or sisters of battle. A good orc player can have a laugh at the expense of his Gretchen slaves being blown to bits when they're sent into a minefield or one of the mech boys' insane weapons blow up or a supercharged vehicle smashes into a wall. So this kind of does reflects the current and then um, fluff, <clears throat> in my opinion. So let's have a little looky poos. Here's some more um, fluff. Um, again, if you want to, if you want to do it, I'll do a quick. I'll pause every now and again so you can take screenshots if you really want to sit down and read them. Uh, but this is a little quote. And this, and at this time, the brazen god of war cast up the, a great lord to lead the savages forth. Is that implying that? That the um, orcs are um, part of corn. We know better. Anyway, so this is an, the orc army list. <clears throat> um, so what you had to do in third up to seventh is you had to have at least two troops and a HQ. So this would be your patrol detachment short of minus one troop currently. Um, and obviously nowadays you can have beyond what we've got here. Um, but, you know, you can do as you please. So as you can see, they're building it up. <clears throat> From then to now, you can actually field a lot more models. However, nicely so, they are actually allowing you, I mean, you can field anything you like, and you could then, but the issue is to have a legal army. You can't see the air quotations, I'm using my finger there. Fingers, good gosh. Um, and this is all just standard stuff. Bit of artwork there. Oh, uh, too fast, too fast. Um, there we go, mixed armor. So this is telling you rules if you've got... Um, Oh, multiple orc saves, blah, blah, blah. Na, 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 na. There we go. Mob roll. So this is a bit different. Um, orc mob has to check morale, test for pinning barrages from snipers in the same way that any other unit. However, if a mob fails a test, it will immediately check size by rolling 2d6. If the score is equal to or less than the number of orcs, not including Gretchen, left in the mob, then the orcs can carry on confident in the belief there are enough of them left to win. Their courage is bolstered by their comrades, sparing them into battle. This means that an orc mob of 12 models or more will always fight on, regardless of any casualties it may have received. So actually, it's pretty the same with some minor changes. Uh, mobbing up, so this is a thing basically used to fall back and principally, um, basically if you had an orc boy unit behind an orc boy unit, they would then join the orc boy unit. Uh, which is kind of cool, and I think maybe cool. Picture points of a mob, blah 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 blah. It looks like a killer can and some shooter boys. Um, power of the wild. This is just fluff, isn't it? And no, that isn't. 
ba, 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 36, da, 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 da. yeah, cool, 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 cool. Um, yep, so again, if you, want to take, if you want to read that, you can take a screenshot and do that. <coughs> or Camry, so this is the points worth. <coughs> you still have to pay for your chopper, and a slugger set three points. Um, <coughs> blah, 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 blah. Actually, let me just have a quick read of this. I'm just going to pause it one sec. So, I won't lie to you, it's been so long that I actually can't remember. But looking at this, it does look like you had to pay for these things separately anyway. Do you know what? I think you did, but I can't remember. I don't remember writing lists, but it was mainly Necron lists and Chaos Space Marines with bolters and stuff. So, I can't remember if you uh, if you had to do. So, long story short, um, <clears throat> obviously, whatever this, the price points of a boy would be, you'd have to add three points for a slugger chopper or a shooter is two points. It's actually cheaper to have a shooter boy, which I think was true. Um, obviously the ballistic skills way worse, but these are all the things that you could get. Um, mech boys only, blah, blah, blah. Tank buster bombs, three points, wild banner, maximum one per army. Um, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, yep. So back in the day, you used to be able to get your war boss to join a boy squad if you wanted to. Kind of cool. <clears throat> war boss. Let's have a look. So weapon skill five plus, which would have meant I believe that you hit on a two. I think you had to you know, someone's with the number seven. It's been, it ain't even that long ago, and I'm already forgetting. Ballistic skill two obviously means it hits on fives. Strength five, toughness set, toughness four, three wounds, initiative four. So pretty fast. Yeah. Remember, attacks for blah, 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 have a bodyguard, cool, cool, cool. So, may be given any equipment allowed from the Orc Armory. So, if it was 60 points for your war boss, let's say we give him a power claw. Where is the power claw gone? Well, it's not vehicle upgrades, is it? Power claw is 25 points. So, go from 60 to 85 or 86 with a slugger, etc., etc. Combi weapons, I think, was a bit cheaper back then. Yep, there was, especially a Scorcher. So, excuse me. And you used to be able to have a bodyguard, which could have knobs, mech boys, or mad docks, or all of the above. Uh, let's have a look. War truck, yes, yeah, so you could have that as a transport. <laughs> Ballistic skill 2, 30 points. Was that before we had um, hull points? I can't remember, it's been so long. But anyway, that's, uh, that was an orc, an orc war truck, or the truck as it's now known. Um, big mech, not quite too dissimilar, not too dissimilar from the orc um, war boss. That's his weapons gold wears, initiative is worse, and his wounds are worse. Um, but obviously, they have their own function. Big mech's bodyguard, you could have a pain boss as well. That was in the HQ section. Um, and pain bosses, bodyguard, cybox. Toughness five. There you go. Elites. So we had the storm boys in the elites section, not the fast attack. Um, you had commanders in the elites, which still is. Hard boys. So you'd have normal boys with a four up save. Um, obviously, in the seventh edition codex, you could give it as an upgrade, which I think you should be able to bring back. But I know why they haven't done it. Um, but 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 because they're pushing them in a different direction, aren't they? Rather than being a a better saved unit. Um, yep, pretty much same as the normal boys, as far as I'm aware. Um, let's have a look. Scar boys. So these guys, uh, two attacks, three attacks. Yeah, no two wounds. I forget what these guys did. Um, <coughs> with three boys with a big shooter, a rocket launcher, or a burner. So that was better when you could have a burner. Um, in your unit, because obviously you won't have to worry about hitting them. Um, sorry for whispered that. <laughs> Flash gets also in the elite section. Um, there was a normal, basically a normal boy, basically with a shooter. Uh, ah, yeah, you had um, two points for a shootier, blaster, and more daca. So there is more rules about that, and we'll probably get to them shorter shortly. Um, Shooter boys and slugger boys, so it looks like they've already taken that into account, if I'm honest, about the points. Because obviously the shooter boys are actually less, which would have made them six points and plus two for your shooter. Um, I like shooter boys, I don't know why. Um, 
even though they was really bad at shooting, I just like the fact that they just like spray loads of shots. I think it's the fact that at 18 inches, even then I think it was, maybe 24 inches. No, oh, I think then it was rapid fire. We'll go back and we'll have a look later on. Um, but I did like the fact that you could fire two shots um, and I still do. That's why I like shoot boys. Just, just for that small fact. You used to have stick bombers, basically would be armed with stick bombs. Um, as opposed to just the thing is, um, I think obviously a lot of these, there's no need to, to have the extra section. So, you know, Burner Boys, hold on, hold on, hold on. I they, uh, were there troops? Since when? I obviously need to get my, um, I, I do apologize guys. I thought I knew more about this codex than I do. Um, so you could have uh, two Burner Boys or two units of tank busters which was which is cool <clears throat> um let's have a look gretchen mobs obviously three points a model no save as as you'd expect so truck boys between five and ten orc boys in a truck i forgot about that war buggies and war tracks so, as you'd expect, a Mega Blaster. And it's that's like custom Mega Blaster. Twin Links Big Shooter at 16 points. Twin Links Rocket Launch. So you would re roll the misses, but you'd only get the same amount of shots as you would normally do, not twins. Um, War Bike Squadron, rather obviously. There's the, even then, even then, the, the, they had the old, the old uh, artwork, the old Orc model in the, art, in the artwork as well. Heavy spot gun batteries or gun battery. Ballistic skull too, because they are in fact Gretchen. Looters. Everyone's favourite. So slightly different as it was as it is now to as it was then. So now shooters <clears throat> and plus options below. Looters are allowed to use options what of one of the following squad types as detailed in the army lists in the Warhammer 40,000 rulebook, which I do earn. So Space Marines, Tactical Squad, Devastate Squad, Scout Squad, Not the Orcs with Sniper Rifles, hit on a 4+, plus, not a 2+. Plus. There you go. Okay, if I remember, so did they use to hit on a 2? I, th I feel like they did. Infantry Squad, Fire Support Squad, and Tank Squad. For example, you might choose weapons for an Imperial Guard Infantry Squad for your looters. This would give them up to one Plasma Gun, Melter Gun, or flamer, and one heavy weapon, which could be either a heavy bolter, missile launcher, las cannon, auto cannon, or mortar. Alternatively, squad's options from any one of the list entries may be used as long as both players agree. Uh, for additional cost, 11 points may be upgraded to a knob. Um, so, obviously, looted weapons. If you roll a one with looted weapon, hit squad on the unit uh, with a weapon instead of the target, the opponent gets to roll. Roll to wound, etc. Template weapons score hit. A single hit. I do not place the template. Orc player gets to allocate any wounds um, that they don't have. They don't have to be allocated to the model who fired the model. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you roll a hit to one, um, you the enemy gets to pick. So there was again, there was there was cool in the fact that they are uh, random, um, but. But you could also have access to extra weapons. So as you can see in here, it looks like they've got a missile launcher. Or is it a heavy bolter? Because they used to they used to carry heavy bolters on their um, on their shoulders. Space Marines back in the second third edition era between the two. Orc dreadnought always cool. Yeah, killer cans forty five points. My friend had some killer cans. There was metal ones. It was always falling apart and off their bases, and that really ruined it for me. I think. I think. Uh, but it was still cool looking models. Battle wagon, there we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Three twin link big shooters. Blah, 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 blah. So, as you can see, carry up to 20 orcs. I can't remember if we had an actual battle wagon then. No, we didn't. We didn't have a battle wagon, so you genuinely had to convert them yourself. Um, <clears throat> looted vehicle, there you go, points variable. So, this was a cool thing. You could have a Lumenrus battle tank, Lumenrus. Demolisher, Basilisk, Chimera, Hellhound, and as you can see, 
Um, although the looted vehicle remains the same as its parents' army list, but as its skill is reduced to two, and it is crewed by orcs. Also, notes that the model for a looted vehicle must be converted and or painted appropriately to show it being used by orcs. Simply borrowing a Lehman Rust from an Imperial Guard army is not allowed. So you could play it legally um, in the game's workshop, although you could borrow one realistically um, in amongst your friends. As long as it wasn't guard versus that and you're using loads of guard tanks, it could be tricky. Starting a war. So this is what they used to do in the Codex, um, which looks like they've started bringing back now. So saying obviously two troops and a HQ. And this one they've got the war boss, which is I believe still a current figure, and two units of boys. Um, shooter boys and slugger boys. I actually genuinely think that would have been a good place to start. Now obviously there's going to be a lot of people screaming down below, no, just use slugger chopper boys. So yeah, yeah. I mean, they are better. But the shooter boys are cool and, and, and it's a bit of variation. So the actual person may prefer, not necessarily to lose, but to, um, to use shooter boys as opposed to slugger chopper boys. Um, as, as I do, really. Um, as it says, uh, tactics. Oh, there's, there's going to be a tactic shortly here. So uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is just telling you how you use them. And what they've done here is lots of these, the older Storm Boys with a, with a rocket literally just attached to a Silver Chopper Boy. So if you had rockets, you could just convert your own. You still can nowadays, to be fair. Nothing stopping you. Some Gretchen in front. Are they the old? They are as well. So this is this is from the Gork and Marker ones, isn't it? Um, with the fact that they've got these tiny little bases so you can pop them on the, on the, um, on the trucks and stuff so you can fit more models. I like the big shooter there bit different are they the metal ones maybe so <clears throat> this is uh oh hold on hold on that's an older model as well isn't it the knob there you can't really see it with a picture being a bit grainy but um that's what you've got some oh we've made some rocket launchers there that's cool cool little conversion i've got um, and then we've got three one two three war tracks a truck and a buggy with rockets on these are the old killer cans and the old dreadnought. So that's what I didn't like about the dreadnought. It just looks like a bigger killer can, which isn't terrible, but it, um, I mean, it's cool, right? But it, you, speak English. It's hard to tell the difference between the two from a distance. So um, there you go, you've got big guns again using the old bases. I never noticed that previously. When I looked at the codex, I never noticed the smaller bases. Strange. And here we have. Adrian Woods Wa Grishnak. So that little wagon, loads of bikes. They didn't put them on bases on there, possibly because they wanted to push the circle bases in the future. These are the older school boys. Um, war tracks, blah 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 blah. We're just having a bit of a bit of a browse for Pepper Sick. Yeah, we won't go into reading all that because it's um a lot of uh he can probably read it, pause it if you want to. Um and here we have Andy Chambers boys some converted either trucks or battle wagons so this looks like two buggies put together so i suppose you could do that you know to get the new vehicles i'm actually interested to find out how different the size is and i'd, I'd really like someone to send me a link to some pictures or something in the comments down below some older orc boys again some converted uh war tracks and a buggy yeah that is a buggy i thought i'd just used a car then and here is which we'll see in a moment <clears throat> converted Dreadnoughts. Um, so again, you can read it, pause it, screenshot it. Orc tactics. So this is what, I, which is what I liked about the old codex. The War Track Rumble. The War Track Rumble works well if you have a lot of wheels, trucks, war tracks, buggies, war bikes in your force. Mass all your wheel, wheels on one side of the battlefield, preferably one that is lots of terrain to block off the enemy's lines of fire to them. As the boys advance, the wheels race around, attack the rear of the enemy battle line, catching the enemy forces between the hammer of the wheels and the anvil of the boys. Adrian Wood calls this Gorkamorka, after the orcish gods of violence and cunning. So this is what they're suggesting. Drive them round and you run them up. Basically, you'd probably be doing most of that anyway. So Dread Bash. So Dread Bash is a powerful force of our stuff. Orc Dreadnoughts Killer Cans to give you Armoured Spearhead, the boys attack. Deploy your hard stuff along a short part of the battle line, backed up by your toughest mobs of boys as the Wartrack Rumble. 
Um, try to use any available terrain to cut down the amount of incoming fire on your enemy force from enemy forces. Good gosh. But don't hide or dawdle. Close in, close in quick. Use your hard stuff to tear a hole through the enemy forces so that the boys can pour in and start smashing, destroying the battle line. Smash them. When you swap them, what? When you swamp them, <laughs> you need enough force made of Du Bois and lots of Gretchen slaves. Deploy Du Bois across the board in front of the place the Gretchen are in front. That's cannon fodder, but you have one or two units of boys behind the line so that the other boys can fall back and mob up with them. The enemy should have too many targets to be able to stop them with all with shooting. So you'll have to overrun the battle line in several places, the mobs furthest back will then arrive reinforced by the orcs who have mobbed up blah 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 pockets of resistance so kind of a cool little tactic i like it it gives you if you're a beginner it's a cool little start where i mean it's not necessarily the most effective but it's still kind of cool and on here as well they used to tell you how to convert stuff um rather than just telling you some things have been converted we're not going to tell you how um best saying about ink washes and such and so how to paint dry brushing um which i won't lie is basically all I ever do. Excuse me, Orc clans. And again, excuse me, goss. Blah, 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 standard. Um, <clears throat> not with a power claw, I can't remember. Oh, no, I did have this guy, but I don't anymore. Um, Storm boy, again, literally just a rocket chucked onto a slugger boy, which is cool. A shooter boy, and with a big shooter, converted with a big shooter, so we know that they're converted. It looks like the thing off the... Um, I want to say, good gosh, the heavy stubber that you get on tanks and stuff. And here we have War Boss Mounted Retu, who'd convert to War Track. So this is red, and is it Goths? Still Goths, yeah. And here we have Snake Bites, which are basically just rounds and snakes, basically, on here. Um, bad Moons, certain people may like this one better. Um, the yellow colours, basically, not the Boss Pole. Blah, 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 stick bombers converted with a rocket launcher. So that looks like a big shooter which just had a rocket put on top of it. I actually can't place the rocket. Where's the rocket from? I don't know where the rockets are actually from. Have they just like green stuff them on? I don't know. We've got death skulls, which are basically blue. We've got blood axes. There's not much really about that, is it? Nothing really. Other than the fact that they've got camo on them. We've got evil suns, which are red, clearly red, because red ones go faster. Free booters, there you go. The dragster's truck mob. So this guy's got a massive claw. Glyphs, which have grown. If you look at the new codex of how many there is, um, there's another knob. There's no specific clan glyphs or colours. Only decorations are a few checks and lightning flash. Painted the wheels, basically telling you how to paint them. Spray cans, let's have a look. Yeah, spray it. Dry brush afterwards, boom, job done. That, yeah, come on. Showing you that they've painted theirs with rockets, with little checks on them, and a scorcher with a bit of a bent end. But they don't tell you how to do it in this one, I don't think. Gubbins, blah, 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 blah. We'll go over it too much. Um, this is what I want to show you. So it's showing you how to put extra armor plates on your trucks. Um, wall tracks added. Wall tracks added to the truck, um, and here we have um, a a dreadnought. It says porthole was made from a bit of light fitting, um, and he used the tank turrets to make the bodies for his dreadnoughts. So which tank turret is it? Because I don't think it's a GW one, is it? Is it? I mean, I might be wrong. It's rounded, so maybe it's one of the. Um, one of the Predator ones, but I like the idea of it and the fact that they've gone, yeah, just use a turret. It's a cool way of doing it. And vehicles and buildings, that's what I like too, is it tells you, shows you, you can make uh, buildings really quick. Or strongholds, blah, 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 blah. I'm rambling on a bit at this point. Painting tips, converting tips, so again, take screenshots. These are cool little ideas, especially the little Storm Boy guy. I don't know how cheap it would be to do that um, continuously. It's cool. Big two forever. So this is a big battle from the back in the day. Again, take a screenshot if you want to have a glance at it. But this was one of the first, um, was it a Gargan? Yeah, 
before we had any of the kits like that, unless it was on 412 and I just wasn't aware. Um, obviously you had a ton of buggies which nowadays would be useless, uh, which seems a bit of a shame, unless the size wise is fine. And we have a squiggeth, which I'm guessing it converted. Scratch built squiggeth, yes, yeah, so I've obviously used a, a dinosaur model. This was a scratch bit bane blade, was it? Or was it a proper bane blade? Maybe it was. I, don't, I feel like it's scr yeah, it's clearly it's clearly either scratch built or it's maybe the original one which I've not seen. But that's like a bane blade. Possibly, yeah, because the kind of the hellhounds there and the dreadnought the flip 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 sick nearly swallowed. <laughs> Lehman Russ. Some more things there with a the big pincer thing, kind of cool. Um, showcase basically of all the pitch. So again, here's a Dark Angels. <clears throat> Rhino been converted. The old war boss. His own Gasgol Thracker. Wowza. Blah blah blah. Hulk Dreadnought, so that's a bit I don't know if I like that. It's I mean it kinda looks cool, but so this is what you used to get, scratch built battle wagons. They used to look somewhat similar to this. So this what looks like a Lehman Russ um Trying tank treads, where there's two lots of them, so they've spent a bit of money on this one, if I'm honest, because there's at least two sets of treads there. Okay, this is some fluff about the orcs, um, saying what they're like, blah 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 blah. Take a screenshot if you want to read it. Orc war gear. There was something I wanted to have a look in here, but we'll have a look. So the attack squid again. So what they've brought back is the uh, the thought that. The actual models have um, rules of their own, and I do like it. The fact that the Armour Run is now an Armour Run, and the Attack Squig has a stat line as well. Cool. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Template Strength 4, AP 5, Assault 1. Docs Tools. So this is where you used to be... Um, we used to heal them basically. So on a one, suffer one wound, reduce to zero, remove the casualty. The patient is resting, or she's precisely nothing this time. And the orc has been reduced to zero wounds and remove it as a casualty. On a six, it regains one wound. So um, if several orcs have been wounded, the man is going to use a row of six. Okay, so ah, basically it's like a feeling of pain, isn't it? If you, if you read it, if you read through it, um, Uh, orc mob, he is in each turn, enemy shooting phase, even orcs reduced to zero wounds can be saved, perhaps. If several orcs have been wounded, the mad doc can choose which to assist, roll a d6 for his efforts and look at the thingy. So again, if you've got him in a ma big squad of boys, you might as well chuck him in, um, for that exact reason, it's basically bringing him back. It's a bit like the, um, and, uh, and we'll be back kind of roll, I think, um, heavy armour, it's been a while, wowza. Custom Mega Blaster gets hot. Um, strength 7, AP 2, so cool. Combi weapons, blah, 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 blah. Ah, there we go. So, this is what we're going to look at the Mordaka. Um, Mech Boys can spend a time to take a weapon, blah, blah, blah. Mordaka customizing makes a shooter or slugger assault 2 instead of rapid fire to, uh, or pistol, respectively. Mordaka sluggers may still be used in close combat, however. A Mordaka custom job is combined with a shootier job that reduces uh, to produce a strength 5 assault 2 shooter or slugger. So that's kind of cool. Um, shootier. Strength 5 and 6 4. Blaster. Uh, blaster custom job gives a shooter or a slugger AP 3 up to 12 inch range, increasing the AP 2. If the tag is within six, but a shooter or a slugger blast and blast a custom job. So basically, you could, you could go crazy and have loads of shooter, effectively like shooter boys, um, that actually have an AP of two if you get up close, an AP three, so you could get rid of Space Marines armor. Pretty cool. Mega armor two plus. Yep. Yeah, OBS. That's OBS, sorry. Custom force field. All models within six inch had a five plus cover saving throw. Vehicles within six inches trees tr tr hold down, so that would take some more explanation. Mega booster, mega pause, 
I will do some screens. I'll just thing it out so you can have a look at this um, and read it as you will. Boom. Vehicle upgrades again. So I just want to have a look at the red paint job. An orc vehicle with a red paint job adds plus one to all of its move distance. So for example, fast orc vehicle with a red paint job can now move 13 inches and still fire one weapon and or disembark troops after a move or move 25 inches and not fire at all. So that's pretty cool. So more fluff, so again, take a screenshot as you please. And again, boom. There we go, uh, Gazmul, Gazgul McGurk Thracker. Uh, 226 points to save. Uh, did he have a, th uh, do we have, oh yeah. Basically when you use the power of the war, you get a two pin vulnerable save. That was the 7th, 7th edition. Go for me, blah, 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 blah. May not include more than one of each of the others, which is more restrictive than it used to be. Bodyguard, um, Orc Warboss Bodyguard. Yeah, so some more fluff. This is basically when he started becoming the big bad guy. Boom. Nazdrag Ug Ur Udgrub. Good gosh, I can't speak. So this <coughs> is blah, 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 blah. Um, persuaded to make boy to build him a custom blaster onto his mega armor. 36 inch range strength. 7 AP2 um, Assault 1 Blast so it would be a small small one which would be D3 nowadays if you wanted to play it like that Badmoon's Army there you go so basically a Badmoon guy uh, again boom he's still here so we'll go on to him Mad Dog, Mad Dog Grot Snake so again still here screenshot if you wish Snake Rot again take a screenshot if you please Wazdaka Gutsmack. So this is the one that was talking about in the beginning of the video, which was a whole... Wow, that's two minutes. I didn't realise I was going for this long. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, 75 points. Weapon skill 4. Ballistic skill 2. Strength 4. Toughness 5, obviously, because it's not a bike. 2 wounds. They're not that great in that respect. Initiative 3. So relatively fast. Attacks 3. 5 up save. He's got a twin-linked auto-cannon. Auto-cannon. Twin-linked. Custom Blaster and Power Claw. Uh, bah, 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 uh, too many guns. Too many big guns. Wazdaka Bike has been upgraded with captured Twin Links Autocannon and Custom Blaster. Built by Wazdaka himself. These may be fired all at the same time. As for War Bikes, the guns are limited to range to 18 inches. So, <coughs> pretty cool. Scrabble. Scrabbler, war by Wazdaka's war bike is kept clean by his shiny and shiny by his Gretchen assistant Fix It. In combat, Fix It hangs on for grim death and helps keep the bike going, hanging off as a counterbalance and even jumping off and pushing occasionally. To represent Wazdaka, this may reroll for difficult terrain test. It's cool. Bit of fluff to it, but kind of cool. Again, independent character. Blah 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 blah. So I'll um, zoom out so you can do a screenshot. Boom. Again, do the same, this is just some fluff. Boom. And again, boom. So this is telling you about the um, Orcoid um, cocoon, how they, um, how they currently think. I don't think I've seen that picture recently in any of the newer codexes, I might be wrong. Again, boom. Boom. I think we're there, we're there, we made it. Made it all the way to the end. Um, I thought it was actually gonna be a lot quicker than that anyway. So again, some more fluff and some more artwork. If you liked this video, if you hated it, whatever, tell me down below. Um, it's always cool to hear um, what you think, um, what you missed from the old codex, what I got wrong, etc., etc. Um, thank you very much, and I will see you guys all again.